Okay, here we are. This is going to be the first step for uh, converting 6.5 by 47 Lapua brass into 257 Bobcat. I have here the Hornaday bushing die, 6.5 Lapua bushing die that I've modified by trimming 125 thousandths off of the die and then re-chamfering and polishing. I have the guts removed, so it's just the die to uh, form the brass. I've already did a couple here, but you just throw it in there, push it down, and I could do mine about four times. I just rotate each time, and what that does, it just helps form the shoulder and make sure it's pushed down evenly, and to make sure it's pushed back far enough. I'm using, uh, um, with my kit, with my uh, wooden dies from my 270, they come with this adapter for measuring shoulder setback. And uh, the barrel I have now, I need to set them at 1340 to chamber. Um, production barrels, I'll have that measurement once I get a production barrel. But it's just that simple for the first step. Put it in the die and form. There you have your first your your case, formed case, and this here shows you can see very well why you have to uh, turn the necks right here in the middle of the neck. You see the a crease. And that's where the brass gets thicker because that right there is where the old shoulder neck union was. So you can see how far back the shoulder was pushed. And the brass up here is around 13 thousandths. As soon as you get there, it jumps up to 16, 18 thousandths. Plus on the inside, you have a, thick, a thickness ring on the inside. So while this is just formed. You haven't run anything through the inside. You're going to have a little extra thickness on the inside. That's why I like to ream right now because you're, it's pushed in on the inside and now I can ream the inside and then uh, trim at the same time. I'll trim it back and ream it at the same time. Then once I've got that done, then I'll go over to my other lathe and I'll take and put the neck turner on and it'll just touch up at the front of the mouth and turn down and it takes more off and when you're turning you need to get down to the shoulder neck shoulder union and in just a touch this is the this will be the seating issue problem is right at the neck shoulder union if you get it too thick especially once you see the bullet and uh, we'll go over that in the next step and uh, I'll have the uh, reamer figured out for the uh, 257 Bobcat procedure thank you okay here we go we have the formed cases, and now we're going to set up and do the reaming. I always take a little bit of my homebrew um, lube and spray it in the necks just to help lube a little bit. In here, we have I, I've switched, and for the 257 Bobcat now, I've uh, installed the actual 257 Forrester reamer. And it works just perfect on the, uh, the six fives after you formed them to get rid of that ring because inside of this neck is right at that. And you'll see when I go to mount it into the uh, machine, see how it just slides in and where it stops, that's where your ring is on the inside. And then with the attachment for the drill, it rings the outside and now I'm cutting it, trimming it down the length all at the same time. As easy as that. There I have a reamed and trimmed length case. And now that is ready to go. And voila. Now I just need to do the neck turning and uh, chamfer de burr, and uh, we're good to go. 
So again, for the 257 Bobcat, we use the 257 Forrester neck reamer because it's actually made, these Forrester neck reamers are actually made to use with a fired case. And basically because we're only going one caliber down um, in necking, it means that fired cases out of out of a like the 257, the inside diameter is basically just about right to seat a uh, 6.5 millimeter bullet. And per se, same with 6.5. Once the 6.5 is sized down, it uh, the inside dimension is just about the same as a as the 257 fired diameter. So that's why the reamer works. So you're going to need a Forrester lathe. You don't have to have the Forrester lathes if you don't want. Um, if I was just for my neck turning, I may think about the Century 21, but I like having my Foresters. I have two, so I can have them set up uh, to do two different procedures at once. And uh, 257 reamer, Forrester lathe, trim. In this situation, when we're making the, the brass first and then we're sizing it, we're going to size it down. We're going to want to leave these a little bit long. Um, I'm leaving trim to length is 1646. I leave it 1656. Um, I'll do the final neck down and then I'll have to come back and uh, touch up the trim on them. Um, I could get it exact, but I figure once I'm done forming, I'll do the final trim and uh, then they're ready to go. But like I say, you want to leave them a little bit long on this on this uh, on this step. Then we go in. We'll do the neck turn and then we'll do the final form and then they'll be ready to fire. Okay, here we go. We're set up with the Forrester neck turner on the Forrester lathe with the power attachment on the drill. I've got the formed cases here. On here, I have I have the 6.5 millimeter RCBS neck reaming pilot. Just to make sure there's if there's anything on the inside, it'll finish taking it off. And uh, I have this set so it just touches at the mouth. And what we're going to end up with is about a 12 and a half to 13 thousand stick net. But with the power attachment, you can see it just makes it really easy. You just feed it slowly. Go over it a couple times. And voila. And uh, as you can see, I cut into the shoulder here. It leaves just a little bit of a ridge. I wet tumble so it, it beats it out of. When you fire form, it'll take that out. And as you can see here, there's some spots where it doesn't touch. If you want to take it thinner, you can. I just do enough to uh, get it pretty much the same. There's, You can see that little, the little, little bit of a line there where the old shoulder was. And it uh, seems to work perfect. I... Uh, but it just makes this uh, procedure so much easier. And boom. Just that easy. They're turned and ready to run. Now the next step will be to run it, put the uh, 279 bushing in the uh, lathe, I mean in the uh, die with a uh, 25 caliber bushing uh, neck expander so I'm running the 279 bushing and a 25 caliber button on the the Hornaday 6.5 by 47 Lapua bushing die that I've got modified so that will be the next step and after it's all done then I anneal them and you're finished Okay, here I am. I have my formed, neck turned, and neck green brass. I now have the uh, 6.5 by 47 Lapua die in here. And I put the guts back in with a 279 bushing and a 25 caliber button. Boom, just that easy. 
And there you have your sized and formed 25 caliber bobcat. With about a 253 inner neck, with 257 gives you about three to four thousandths neck tension. That pretty much sums it up. Only last thing that I do is uh, I will wet tumble these to get the lube off, and then I'll touch up and do a, a chamfer on the, uh, the inside with a, a VLD chamfer tool on my uh, 408 Trio, and uh, they're ready to go. Simple as that.